I thought it was a ship that was the challenge, but it was the people that were the world challenge. I think when you're going on an expedition like this for so many months, you think this is not going to happen, or this is all kind of liabilities and insecurities. But in the end, the ship was the most stable factor in the whole place. Well, I think departure was a, for, to me, as the uh, the one behind the desk, the the, the, the when we when we sailed off, that for me was a quite a, a relief, I might say, because it was at that time, till that time, it was a kind of virtual ship that was that we were planning on sailing, and suddenly all people went aboard. We waved at the K in Ostend and said, hey, you're really going. That was, a ma to me, it was a magic moment. And of course, uh, I went to the ship in Valparaiso in uh, Chile. And when you see this ship at a, in a foreign port, um, it is a bit, at that time, it's a bit my ship. It's my ship, it's not theirs, it's ours. And that makes, does make a difference. A couple of days ago, I was in a hotel waiting for the ship to come in. At two o'clock in the at night, it was dark here in South African Hot Bay, and then I suddenly the ship came in in a big bay with mountains on the in the back in the background. And I said, "Well, no one was with me." I didn't I didn't start crying, but it's I was on the verge of crying over Palma. But that's over now. I'm not crying anymore, and I will wave the ship goodbye and then back to Europe. I would love to dine with you. <laughs> um, what I would tell him. Well, I'm very curious of the things that, um, in retrospect, what have we done to Earth? What have we done to the things that are. Uh, well, he's seen. He's a kind of encyclopedia. He's the man who saw it 150 years ago. And I would like to share my thoughts and my views with him. He said, do they compare? Is it different? Maybe we did change, maybe we didn't. I'm not sure. And he, he's the only one to, who can tell me. But maybe you can too. It's, it, I, I think it's a lesson in humbleness in the end. It's a lesson in humbleness. We think we are big and we can arrange everything and anything in this world with my, mobile phones, satellites, etc. But in the end, if a storm hits us, or lava erupts in Iceland, we can't do anything. So if Earth farts, we're gone. And in the end, that, that's why. I th uh, but that's why I think that we should be very. Um, well, we should uh, rule in a proper way with this thing we're sailing on, and we are literally sailing on it as human beings too. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am. No, I'm. No, I'm. If I, if, I, if I was being cynical, I would have done the wrong job because it wouldn't have gone this far. Because there are 99, 99 uh, about 100, 100 rules not doing this and make another television program, another project doing something else. No, but I really think that's <laughs> maybe it sounds a bit abstract and scientific and philosophical, but I think these kind of projects like this are needed to, to show people that uh, um, there's just a small earth we're sailing on. We're sailing on and we have to take care of it. We have, really have to take care of it. I've had my turn now. I'd really like to hear from you, the viewers, how this program has affected you. Please put your comments on the internet.